Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more Don't Starve Shipwrecked. We are still shipwrecked and we're not really starving all that much, at least right now. Uh, and things are going pretty good. So I kind of am setting out in today's episode with a goal. As we all should have a goal in life today, I have a goal in Don't Starve. It's a full moon again, that's actually great, it means I don't have to sit here and wait. But today's goal is to get ourselves an actual decent food source. And that's gonna take a little bit of work, but I think we can do it. And how are we gonna do that? Well, we've already got ourselves, obviously, a muscle stick, which is great, m mind you. Muscle stick is one of the better things we can do. But I need to get a proper, like, tree farm going. One of the main things that I like to do in Don't Starve in general is getting, like, a tree farm of, of in just regular trees up. And if I can get a tree farm up and running as far as, uh, coconut trees are concerned and everything, we can actually stem, I think, a lot of our food source problems. The tide is coming in, it does seem. So, I'm gonna go out of my way to attempt to get that fixed. And, uh, I'm hoping by the end of this episode, or at least before the episode, yeah, maybe by the middle of it, whatever, before the episode ends, we'll have ourselves a, a pretty sizable source of food. Um, and I, I you know, it's just, ooh, windy. I haven't seen this before. Um, but yeah, if we can, if I can just have food for the end of this episode, I will be a happy, happy, happy man. We have enough, I would say, seaweed, cooked seaweed, even some limpets that we have sitting around here, um, to, to keep us fed while we organize the food situation. Um, and as the coconut trees kind of come into maturity, I will start breaking them down and, uh, using them for... Uh, like planting a row of trees and whatnot. So this is new. Windy, a uh, windy temperature, I guess, or windy weather is new. And I think that's going to affect, I think that's going to affect, uh, what do you call it? Uh, our fires. I'm pretty sure. Um, I also, oh, it's raining? It says, thanks for the protection tree. But I didn't see any rain happening. Well, let's break this down. Oh, they actually move these things. Okay, there we go. It is raining a little bit. Oh, and walking against the wind is kind of a pain in the dick. So can I eat this? No, I can't. So organizing this area at some point could be good. This is just a pick and it's an evil flower. All right, so it doesn't look like I can do much in the way of finding food out here. Can we, can we, can we, can we? The rain is a, a kind of a, a dick. So let's go ahead and wear this for now. Keep ourselves a little bit dry. Um, let's go hunt some food. I think we'll end up going to... Let's take a look on the map. I think we'll just go... We could come down here and grab all the coconut trees in here, but I thought I chopped most of them down. So we can see palm trees on our map. There's like one... Eh, there's quite a few palm trees over here. And even more down here. So let's go south. Let's actually go south and, and hit, hit those palm trees up and we'll grab as many coconuts as we can and we'll bring them home and uh, start setting those up. I think, uh, again, food being a primary concern for us as it stands is worth it for me to actually go ahead and do that. So, And I will set traps still, try and hunt down them. I'm hoping the wind will actually help me travel. That would be kind of sweet. Can I, if I need to, make a raft? I can't. How's this wrapped up here? We're actually starving pretty badly. There we go. Seaweed. Um, can I actually equip this? No, I can actually click on this though. Can I... I can't do... Uh... Plant stick. Oh! Okay. So, that's how I deal with that, I guess, as far as... Well, that's weird. So, I'm gonna need a few of those then, no? I thought I was gonna be able to, like, stick it in there and just get ourselves some food. And just, like, get, um... Get some muscles just from clicking on it, but that appears to be not to be the case. Which is... I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. Um, it's concerning. Let's put it that way. It definitely worries me quite a bit. And, uh, I feel like it's going to end up biting me in the ass. 
All right, well, hopefully we'll get some more muscle sticks. Seaweed still being an excellent source of food right now, which is, I'm happy about that. Maybe lobster traps is something we're gonna need to do too. We just might have to get most of our food from the sea, which I feel like they probably did on purpose when making this game is saying you need most of your food from the sea, which is fine with me. I'm all right with it. My clothes appear to be permeable. No shit, sir. I'm not losing sanity, or at least not much sanity from, from it. All right, let's, uh, I still have a log raft over here too that I left here. But we're here for one thing and one thing only. And that is coconuts. All right, now we're losing sanity because our clothing is wet. Okay. I'm back, pig friends. Did you miss me? I'm here for you. I, I would love to, to just attack you, but I'm not going to. All right, where is, did I drop it? Oh no, my axe is over here. I think it just drops and goes into my inventory randomly. Okay. But, obviously we can go ahead and pick up uh, limpets as well. As we're kind of messing around and gathering a lot of food, but I think this is our best, this is our best option right now. I really think this is gonna be our best way to collect food and it's by collecting coconuts and just planting them and then chopping them down when they mature. As, if, as long as we can get like a stable setup of trees uh, in line, even if it's 10 or so, we can get a good chunk of food from them. And every, every time it drops two coconuts, we obviously plant one back. Now, I don't know how to tell if it's gonna drop one or two coconuts. It seems to be randomized as the coconuts, it looks like there's two when I'm chopping them down, but sometimes it only drops one. So I might not be able to guarantee myself um, two coconuts every time a tree falls. See, that had two coconuts on it, but only dropped me one coconut. And that is sad. I'm gonna go ahead and break it once more. With feeling, once more with feeling, friends, we are going to get ourselves coconuts. They are my favorite, coconuts, and I enjoy them dearly. Don't you dare make fun of them. It's some of my favorite. Get out of here, you ass hat. You ass hat, crab hat. Mm, give me a little crab, give me some crabs, baby. Daddy loves the crabs, not really. Don't look at me like I'm a crazy person, I'm just saying. Are we almost done with this tree? There we go. And a lot of wood is good too. We need, <laughs> we need all the wood we can get, baby. You know what I'm saying? Wow, do we have a shovel? It's getting late. I could probably just camp out here for the night. We do not have a shovel, it looks like. Let's get a shovel. And let's start collecting these. So I can have a solid setup of these at home too. I just gotta get into the mindset that I'm not gonna be able to have everything at home. Or I, I need to, rather, it's not as easy as it would be in anywhere else. And I need, all right, save away. And I need to um, be collecting things and bringing them back to my home island. That's kind of just what we have to do. I wonder how good that raft is right now. 12 health, 12 hunger rather. Not great. Okay, but we're gonna cook things up tonight, I think. Um, yeah. Relax with your growly stomach. Gonna go, you're gonna have a limpet feast tonight, my friend, I promise. Look at this. Delicious. Look at that. How does that feel? Does it feel good? Does it fill your belly with goodness and happy thoughts? Alright, nothing's wet anymore. Good. Go to sleep, pigs. It's fine. I'm not here to bother you. Trust me. If I wanted to bother you, I'd murder you with my murder stick. It's pointy. It's got a like, flint at the end. I kind of sharpened it a little bit. Trust me, it's good at murdering things. Okay. Cooked seaweed. Good. This is part of the survival game game, you know? You gotta, you gotta go out on your way on your day, and every once in a while, you gotta go out and just do the survival thing. Gathering things, bringing them home, planting them. It's very thrilling most of the time. Uh, it's all about that story of how you got to where you are, you know? And if this is just part of the journey, this is part of the journey, dog. Let's even even a little bit of seaweed. Can we, I'm, I'm, I'm really bored of night already. Can we just thank you? I was just ready. Ooh, looks like the tide. I don't understand, is this how like, is this their seasons? Like is this how seasons work in this game? The tide just comes in and fucks your shit? 
I'm not really happy about it. I'm starting to see a little bit of crazy town. But no big deal, no big deal. I don't know if farms are gonna- I feel like farms might be useful. Let's see if I can find some flowers. Good. Let's go ahead and eat them. Okay. Yeah, I know you can't carry any more stuff, man. I'm trying to fix your sanity so you stop seeing shadow monsters. Trust me, man, from a man- from one person who has experience to the next. Shit ain't good if you're starting to see shadow monsters. Another big thing we're gonna need to do is attack uh, some some spiders at some point. I just don't know if now is the time. You know? Feel like waiting a little bit and just kind of getting food set up is more important. Okay. Good. Where's my shovel? Let's go ahead and dig these up. We have, if I can get 10 of everything, like 10 of these and 10 of these, I will consider it a successful go. And ashes, oh, I need to get a crock pot up at some point too. I can't carry anymore? All right, let's just eat these. Um, I will drop these rocks for now. Cause ash, ash is a little bit more valuable to me as I need it to make a crock pot, which I am gonna need to cook some cool shit. Some delicious foods and, and so on. Okay, good, this is the last one. I just wanted 10 of these. I'm sorry, what is this? Is it a machete? It's a 3% machete. I must have left it there. Probably my own fault. I'm just gonna drop that. 10 and 10 is fine. I'd rather carry the limpets. Okay, we can head back up. Maybe we should check the muscle stick on our way back, see if it's actually caught anything. Have ourselves fed for the evening. Would be nice. Off we go. I know you sprung a leak. There's not much about I can do about it right now. You're gonna need bamboo, and we're gonna need to get you some bamboo soon. Where's my muscle stick? Does it show it? Okay, shows the muscle stick. That's good. So I know where the muscle stick is. We can make that work. Look, I wanna use the goddamn waves. Don't take them away from me now. It's gonna speed me along, which means I'm gonna get a little bit less wear and tear on my boat as I progress. What do we got? 47, we should be able to get to our muscle stick, no problem. I'm gonna have to get rid of something for that muscle stick. So you know what, before we do the muscle stick, which is actually right near another raft, let's go ahead and exit here. Now, I wonder, I highly doubt I can plant these rocks and stuff on sand, not rocks, these sticks and stuff. Oh shit, I can. Oh, that makes my life so much easier. I was fully expecting to have to plant them over here and I was gonna have to clear out trees and, and kind of organize things over there, but nope, not not necessary. Cool, so that's gonna save me time. I know you're hungry, relax. I don't know why I thought that was the case when I clearly have, have pulled them off the sand before. I guess I'm just silly. Okay, good. Now I wanna plant some grass. You know that good shit, dog. Um, Mathis loves his grass, baby. Okay, we'll just do a, a row of five. Okay, good. So that's that's fantastic. Organization is key. Oh shit, we got a crab. Oh, he's almost dead too. Crabs ahoy! Scare you back into your fucking hole? No, it didn't work. All right, give me that seed, son. All right, let's take our cocoa nuts. We're gonna do 10. Feel like 10 is good and we'll cook the rest. We can get a farm of 10 or so. Okay, we'll try, we'll try turning the camera this way. I can cook the rest and keep those for food. Beautiful, beautiful. So I can keep these. Eat up, just a little seaweed. Oh, another crab. Come here, sir. No, I wanna keep you. Let's put these down for now. I'm gonna murder you. Murder you. Good. That's gonna stay there. Cleaning up. Here we go. Um, let's put some stuff away. Put the rocks away. Oh, another crab. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna eat these. Ooh, we're catching lots and lots and lots of crabs. 
This is fantastic. So I feel like our food situation is about to be non-existent at this point. Which is where I ideally would like to be. We have 20 logs. Um, okay. We have no poop. I wonder if poop is even a thing I can get. Like, if we go in here, is there... No, you can get poop, so there's got to be a way to get it. And is it, maybe the only way to do it is feeding the pigs, which I know I've done once, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I have one piece of poop in here. Um, but still, that's good. Okay. Um, wood wall, hay wall, not so, not so much. Survival, we can invent a straw. What about a... Uh, escape the rain, mostly. Escape the heat. Tent, restore sanity, but cost time and hunger. Just curious if there's anything that can protect my fire from the rain. Like, is there a special fire? So I need sand, this, and limestone. Fire and wind don't mix. So if I can get some sort of limestone, which I assume in the volcanic area is where I'm going to be able to, to do that, then that'll be good. Yes, 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 you're hungry. All right, let's clean up this area, our workspace a bit. Keeping organized is important. As I try, anyway, to keep as organized as I can. Okay. Um, it's almost nighttime. Get out of here. And if we can get farms up too, I bet your dragon fruit's still something we can attain. Which would be awesome. I need more brambles as well. Let's plop this. Let's cook these. Okay. Let's cook these. Good. Um, I do have something I can plant. Let's go ahead and plant this. Now, as far as, uh, crock pots, we need, oh, we don't need ash, we need charcoal, which comes from burned trees. Yeah, we're gonna need that. That's gonna, there's a hell of a lot of stuff that we still need to grab here, but that's alright. Let's make another chest, shall we? Build a chest. Um, I will slap in some grass. Actually, I might need to hang on to the grass. Let's keep the sand here. The life jacket. Eh, the life jacket we're probably going to need. Um, maybe the seed. I don't know. Could eat the limpets up. Uh, but I did I do feel like we did take care of our food issue, which is great, which is very very great. Um Maybe a robo should be next. Let's uh let's head into once daylight breaks, let's head into the forest and let's get let's start collecting brambles. I feel like it's another thing we've been neglecting, but it's starting to look like home. It's starting to look like a don't starve home, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and chop this. Here comes the tide. That scares the shit out of me, man. Seeing the tide like that, it does. It scares me. I feel like we're going to have uh, water issues at some point in the near future. Okay, there's a snake in there. Though I have a feeling we will need snakes at some point. But for now, more brambles. How much we got on our... We still got about half the life of our machete, so we can kind of go around and just do what we need to do. I kind of want to fight the snake and just see what, like, if it's difficult. But fighting in this game is probably its weakest point, and it's not incredibly intuitive. So I don't like doing it when I don't have to. I know we're going to have to fight spiders and stuff to get silk, which we're desperately going to need, clearly. Oh, okay, thank you, buddy, for the doubloons. But, um, for now, if I can avoid fighting, I will. Bit of a resource gathering episode, but that just means next episode is going to be full of creation. And that makes me excited. Okay. How's our sanity? We should probably collect flowers and make ourselves a garland. Let's kind of not equip this hat for now. Still got some brambles around. Good. Oop. I don't think we're going to be able to get this. Nope. Make another machete. Good. Yeah, 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 pirate bird. You're not actually the pirate bird, but whatever. But having a garland on him to attain, you know, normal sanity is going to be also important. We need also going to need a fucking fridge. So many things to do. Dear Lord. All right.
good. Well, I'm out of time, so we're gonna have to stop here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's always, it's been, a, it's, I'm really thoroughly enjoying this. It's, uh, it's a nice twist on the usual don't starve formula. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, come back next time for some more don't starve shipwreck and consider dropping a like. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next video. Bye bye.